Hi everyone, Russell here again. So today I'll show you how to install new brake pads on all four corners. Uh, the front and rear are um, slightly different. Um, I will say this is the easiest brake job I've ever done. 45 minutes for all four uh, corners. So, um, but also extremely expensive at 300 bucks. Super quick, easy. So again, thanks for watching and I uh, hope this helps you out. So if you decide to go with the factory OEM uh, brake pads, um, you have to order them for each corner. So right here we have left rear, uh, right rear, right front, uh, left front. Um, I know there's some different options. A lot of people in the mud are going with brass, but um, I have nearly 11,000 miles on these brake pads. They are super expensive. They're around $300 for the entire set. Um, so I'm hoping to get at least another 10,000 miles out of these. All right, so step one, we're gonna take the front wheel off. Once you have the front wheel off, we're going to uh, remove this bolt right here on the bottom. And then we're just going to flip that caliper up. So after we undo that one bolt, um, I just have some wire have it tied off to the shock and then we're going to pull those out on each side just like that and these were basically wore down not not completely but uh, about 95 percent worn before putting the new pads on, we're just going to inspect the rotors, okay? Uh, the service limit on these, so they need to be, before putting new pads on, they need to be at least 4.5 millimeters or, or thicker. Uh, mine are currently 5.4 uh, millimeters when I put the caliper on there. So uh, just check to make sure they're good to go. So this is what they look like once you get them in. Just make sure you clean the seats, um, top and bottom of all the debris that they're nice and clear uh, on the back side so this uh, is on the top and once you have that done we're going to uh, compress the caliper drop it back down and tighten it up I mean this this is literally 10 to 15 minute job per per side uh, so this is how I compress them. I just kind of place it there in the middle. Um, they went back in really, really, really easy. Um, let's see if I can get that off. Okay, once we have that off, slide it back down into place and tighten the bolts. Um, and we're good to go for this, uh, for the front driver's side. All right, so here we are on the rear. Um, a little bit different. Well, I mean, we're still going to loosen and remove um, the bottom bolt right there. And then we're gonna follow the brake line up. In this little bracket, there's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt that I've already removed. And then that's just going to allow that pivot of the caliper to go much better. All right, so. Other than uh, letting that brake line loose, it's the same exact as the front. Pop in the two pads, uh, tighten both of them down. I'll put the, the specs there uh, as well. Uh, super, super easy process.